I met a gypsy. Yeah. And um, it's cool just going back to Phillip Island and the atmosphere. It just feels like home, I guess. Do you enjoy that track? Phil Island? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I, um, you know, I've had a win there. Oh, on sick. every on every bike I've raced, which is good. Really, and it's it's really coincidentally every time I um the World Super Bike or Moto GP guys go there, I'll have a win. Yeah, so right. you know I win at the right time when we go there, which is good. But um, yeah, you also have some of the biggest crashes. Really, at Phillip Island, oh, massive because really? it's such a fast track, and most of the time, every time you do have a crash there, it's deep gravel trap and fast corners. You um you're kind of crashing knowing that you're not going to be able to ride your bike away because yeah. the gravel truck just tears it apart which you know it sucks to crash there it sucks to crash anywhere but it just hurts a little bit more there because you're knowing that you're not going to be able to ride your bike back to the pits or anything yeah that's like the walk of shame after <laughs> yeah, that. it is the walk of shame <laughs> <laughs> that's so good i have had one crash on a road bike <laughs> don't want to do it ever again no nah, it, it's not fun no it was ter- it was fucking traumatic to be honest <laughs> we're in vietnam oh, riding these they're like these 150 fucking life and things and it, <laughs> it had just rained we're in like this vietnamese range and i was coming down the hill and there was must have been diesel or something i'm just leaning and then <laughs> the front went and like it went so fast i didn't even have time to put my hands off the like take my hands off the bars <laughs> and put my hands down or anything so i just face planted i'm so lucky i had a full face helmet on and then i hit my shoulder my shoulder popped out forwards and then i just slid across the road (laughs) into this ditch like it was fucking hectic and like the sound of that big bike just going like (laughs) scraping across the road then like the echo in my helmet of the of like my face being on the concrete (laughs) I was just like, holy shit, that is so gnarly. Yeah. So like, when we were at Norwell, I was just like, don't fucking crash this bike. I'm so over it. <laughs> yeah, crashing a road bike sucks, but it's weird. I mean, you'll get, maybe you'll get a burn rash here and then, but when you have a slow crash, you kind of just hit the ground. Get stuck. And, and stay tumble. on the ground. Yeah. And stay on the ground. And it's like as far as having a fast crash and sliding goes. So a lot of the road racers would rather have a fast crash than a slow one yeah yeah it, it makes sense but i mean just for me these days i just don't know that i want to do it no crashing sucks you don't want to crash <laughs> no you, one wants to crash have you had a bunch of them like do you feel like you kind of figure because i'd say like uh for me my goal would be like not to crash again but <laughs> it's like if i go buy a like a panigale v2 or something and start doing some track days you probably got to expect that you're going to put it down at some point yeah i mean it's good now i've had the experience that i have you kind of know where your limit is yeah and a lot of pretty i mean most people that like race road bikes now know where their limit is and the crashes that you have is most of the time from just trying to put a bit of an extra lap in or Mm. once in a blue moon you'll just have a silly crash and like like a lot of common ones is running off like going into a corner too hot and you'll just drop the bike a little bit in the gravel trap which is fine yeah and then yeah a lot of like main ones people have these days is just tucking the front and it's just from pushing too hard or hitting an unlucky bump or something yeah yeah just don't want a bar of it eh? no don't want a bar of it pretty pretty traumatic when you 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 hear the bikes and the crash everything's sliding and grinding (laughs) you're just thinking fuck how much money did I just throw (laughs) down the road that's what everyone was like tripping out about because I I don't think there's many of those RVEs in the country like that special edition one No, and everyone's like be careful I'm like (laughs) trust me i'm being careful I'm very careful <laughs> but it goes out the window when you start yeah it does everything that you you say beforehand kind of goes does go out the window go out the window while you're on track if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang